dogs of war, or brothers in arms. Young men from cities, the valleys and the farms. Swans to the crown and a country's peace. Honour, pride and courage, the soldier's creed. The shilling is taken and the deal is struck. This code of honour, this game of luck. Pain's now his friend in so many ways. A soldier's burden for the rest of his days. But why go to war? A war that doesn't end. If not our heroes, then who do we send? Sentenced to hell in a war-torn land. Dodging the reaper, hidden in the sand. But this isn't new, it's from centuries past. From bow and arrow to bullets and gas. But what of the lessons when our heroes return? In a flag-draped coffin, what did we learn? So we begin our journey on neighbouring shores. This one was called the War to Win Wars. Trenches were dug and Tommies were slain. They say the First World War was all done in vain. Then from the first to the second in a new kind of hell, a bully is in power and a country has fell. To Europe again they answered the call. Young men gathered, all standing tall. On land and at sea, the battles are fought. Inch by inch, their liberties bought. And then came the time of the Battle of Britain. Defending our skies, our future was written. And then the tyrant had fallen and peace was restored. You never know, this could be the war to end wars. And for a while we thought it was true, as our hero stayed home with nothing to do. But the conflict still raged in far distant lands. Korea, South Africa, and then Vietnam. Cyprus and Turkey, and God only knows how the hell we still think we are friends and not foes. But then to the Cold War, political chess. A nuclear stalemate between East and the West. The hammer and sickle would not bend to the star-spangled banner with no means to an end. The fear of destruction would not make them see the horrors of fallout that could so easily be. The end of mankind for a political cause. Maybe that would be the war to end wars. But the wait was not long before violence returned. Because in 69, innocence burned. In the Emerald Isle, the theatre was set. A land full of hatred, fear and regret. The minister said we'd be home in December. How quick they forget, but how long they remember. We arrived as heroes, but the message got lost. The surprise we paid wasn't worth the cost. Bricks and nails, and bottles and sticks, with the odd petrol bomb thrown in with a mix, Kids line the streets and shout out abuse. These guns that we hold are simply no use. A rebel song sang of green, white and gold, of a deep-rooted hatred of young through to old. No matter the threats, they must remain true because they swore their allegiance to the red, white and blue. But what was the reason for this civil war? Was it religion or politics or just a hate for the law? Whatever the reason, the blind led the blind, with the politicians and priests all standing behind. But while the war raged within our own land, fate was close by to deal its next hand. Ships and troops were rallied in 